What's up, people? It's Jeffrey Kaminsky here, and today we're going to talk about how arching your back can make you a better wrestler. It's very important to remember that basics win matches, and the guy who has the most solid fundamentals is often the guy who comes out on top. I mean, it doesn't matter if you can super duck somebody, if you can't sprawl to stop a shot. And even if you look at most state finals matches, you're mostly just going to see double and single leg shots. None of that fancy stuff, but those basics are fine-tuned. And so while arching may sound like a simple concept, which it is, it's one of those concepts that once you learn it, it's going to take your wrestling from here and elevate you all the way up to there. The first place that arching your back really matters is when you're trying to pin someone. Here we see freshman year Jeffrey. You know, he's doing great. Gets the pin. Except it's not that great. Let's look at my spine in this position. Right there, you can see it's pretty curved. This is the space between the floor. This wrestler has all of this space right here to bridge. There's absolutely no pressure on him. He gets pinned because he's a bum, not because I'm good. So when we're trying to pin people, it would be wise to try to eliminate that space and to put more pressure on them. Now here's a clip from my senior year. Let's compare and contrast these. Right there. End up getting the pin. As you can see, my spine is a lot more arched. This is the floor right there. There's barely any space right there for this wrestler to bridge. There's all that pressure that is forcing him to get pinned. And so anytime you're having trouble pinning somebody, no matter the technique, whether it's a half or a butcher or something like that, readjust. Once you get in a good position, that's when you can start arching up, and put all that pressure onto the guy and convince him to pin himself. As we clearly saw, arching your back on a pin is an easy way to eliminate that space and make it easier to pin the guy. It's a simple fix if you're not doing it already, it's easy to integrate into your training. But eliminating space is not the only use of an arch. When we take a look all the way back to ancient Rome, we can see that these structures are still around today. Because an arch is an incredibly strong structure, which can support a lot of weight. Which is exactly why we can apply this concept to our shots as well. We come back to freshman year Jeffrey once again to be in pure awe of his technical prowess on this beautiful shot right here. Yeah, no. Right now I'm not in any position to lift this guy up or finish this shot. Instead, if I had my hips right there and I was in a better position, I'd be able to effectively lift this guy up and finish the shot. It's just like I was about to try to lift something heavy. The bar is all the way out there, I'm not going to be able to lift it. Same thing is true on a shot. I want that bar to be as close as possible to my body, right over the middle of my foot. That's where I can support the most weight. Arching my back will also get my head, back, and hips in line with each other. That is what good wrestling posture is and will keep me in a good position. Now let's take a look at another shot. Yeah, <laughs> right here, my back is arched up. And my hips, spine, and head are in line with each other. This is what allows me to easily pick up someone who is 80 pounds heavier than me. When you're wrestling somebody your own weight class, and you have this good posture, good position, it'll be even easier. When it comes to shot defense, getting your really nice arch in your sprawl is going to extend your opponent's arm. It's also going to make it harder for the knee to slide up because there's no space for him to get closer. Even if your opponent takes a really good shot, Really arching on that sprawl, you can stop that and make it a lot harder for your opponent to score. This is why things like a swing single are so effective. You basically just bypass all that hip arch. No matter how much he arches that way, it's not really going to affect you. You want to try to find as many ways as possible to get around that arch of his. Finish your shot. Alrighty, so that's most of what you need to know for arching your back and wrestling. Like I said, it's a pretty simple concept. But I didn't learn about this stuff until my fourth year of wrestling. I'm sure more of you advanced guys do this stuff naturally, but now that you're made aware of it, you can at least do it more deliberately. And um, I'll get more wrestling content out here in the next few weeks. We'll come back to lifting every now and then. If you want to subscribe, go ahead, share it with a friend who you think will enjoy this. In the meantime, 